One time, David came fishing and he brought an ad that he found online for a Piper Cub, for a J3 Cub. And we're fishing and all that, and he hands it me, he says, you know, we really need to get one of these. This is a piece of flying history, and it'd be a lot of fun for you. It'd be really interesting to take people rides around the property in it. And David also pointed out correctly that it would be uh, an interesting uh, a tool from a viticultural point of view. The J3 Cub embodies Americana in aviation. The first one rolled off the assembly line in 1935, and in the 30s and in the run-up to World War II and all through during World War II, the J3 Cub taught every American airman how to fly. Now these airplanes are very different from the Bonanza behind me or any of the airplanes commonly flown today in that it is a tail dragger and actually requires someone to learn to fly stick and rudder, needle ball, and airspeed in the very old school way, which is generally not taught today. It flies very low, um, safely, and it can fly very, very slowly. And with that high wing, in combination with a low speed and low altitude, it really enables a lot of us to see things on the property and the estate that we weren't really able to before. Um, this particularly is particularly helpful with regard to viticulture because our vineyard staff and with cameras on the airplane, we're able to see details and nuances on the estate that we really couldn't um, from the Bonanza or even on the ground. David comes back this summer with the Cub, and that when the Cub is in here with the other vehicles in here, there's not a lot of room here in the Healdsburg hangar. So uh, we thought, well, geez, where are we going to put this thing? and we thought of different ideas and we move it to Santa Rosa with the other airplane and none of it really appealed to us. Within that same two week period uh, was when the water tank came down and that was a sad emotional day for a lot of us at the winery who'd been there for many, many years. We thought, and this is where Tim Spence came into the project, we thought what if we built something up on the property and used all that, that rare special redwood from the redwood water tank to build ourselves not only a hangar, but an experience uh, where you immerse yourself into the sights, the sounds, the songs, the drinks, uh, the games uh, that, that young people enjoyed in the 40s. It's been quite a journey from considering the problem of where to put the cub to building um, a building which is not only a hangar for the cub, but a place for my family and friends to immerse themselves in and enjoy uh, a particularly interesting period in American history, the 1940s.